Hi there, Melissa coming here today. Um, I think it's day five post-op from Operation Toe Fusion. Doing, doing pretty good today. Today was uh, actually a great day. Well, it was a great day to get out. The weather was gorgeous. And I actually got out and um, had a shower today. So it was a little bit of adventure today, going out with Sue to her dear mother's house actually, who has a really cool shower bathroom set up where they have the sprayer that comes off, it's separate, it can start and stop from the hand nozzle. So I tell you, today was a great day, it got to shower. So clean, fresh, hair's done. Who, who would have known I had surgery, right? <laughs> Smelling fresh. Um, so that was great, really enjoyed that. But it felt, of course, after the end of the, the adventure, we had a great meal, stuffed. Susan Mom Murphy always feeds us great, so I'm always stuffed after leaving there. Um, and uh, what else? Of course, coming back, I was felt a little more tired and my foot was a little extra sore than usual because it hadn't been elevated as much as I would like, but that's okay. It was worth it to get the shower in. Uh, so I came in back for a little bit and just doing a little extra resting now to see if it could zipper down. And I, I did have to take a happy pill. I've been taking less and less, but <clears throat> I needed needed one today. So that's helping a little bit now. So I'm coming on to make a fun little video. And once again, we're getting back to the pivot year Today is passage reading for day three. I'm loving this book, it's so inspirational. And I hope you enjoy coming on here and, and having a listen. And um, <clears throat> it's, it's inspiring me and motivating me um, and moving forward in my life and positive changes moving forward. I hope it's gonna do the same for you. It's this, once again, this year feels like it's the pivot year. New things are happening, things are changing. Um, I'm feeling more ease and peace within myself as I go in deeper. Even with the mung bean soup 28 day diet, you're going inwards, you're seeing how you feel um, and, and accepting and allowing all the feelings to come through um, with what you're going through, whether it was, why are you choosing to eat this and why have you chosen to eat that? And what's, how are you feeling now that you're not eating it? Um, that was huge for me as well. Just getting in touch, going within deep and getting in touch with your true feelings and emotions and what does it mean for you? and um, working through that, allowing those feelings to come up, because that's important for us to feel all our feelings are legit. They are, it's, our, it's our feelings and emotions that cascade through our body that create the, within the 100 million gazillion hormonal chemical reactions in our body. It's, it's bringing through our emotions how it shows up in our body. So it's very important to listen to what you're feeling, what you're sensing, and uh, how it makes you feel and what emotion that brings up. And uh, that's been, been amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little fun reading. So today is, once again, the pivot year, 365 days to become the person you truly want to be by Bri Brianna West. Weast, weast. Did I say that right? So day three. One day you will realize that happiness is not what your house looks like, but how you love the people within its walls. Happiness is not finding success by a certain time, but finding something you love so much, time itself seems to disappear. Happiness is not thinking you have earned the world's approval, but waking up each day and feeling so at peace within your own skin, quietly anticipating the day ahead, unconcerned with how you are perceived. Happiness is not having the best of everything, but the ability to make the best of anything Happiness is knowing you are doing what you can with what you are given. Happiness is not something that comes to you when every problem is solved and all things are perfectly in place, but in the, but in the shining silver linings that remind us the light of day is always there if you slow down enough to notice. I just love that, my dear. I just love that. Definitely that's what I've been doing. I've been able to slow down and really notice. Um, and actually even today I had the conversation really with Sue, like being grateful for the small things in life. Um, you know, sometimes we think we need this, we need that, we need everything to make us happy. But no, today this, we actually had this conversation where, you know what, we have great food in our belly. I've got a comfortable place to rest. Um, I had a beautiful shower. Um, and as everyone knows who might have a nursing background, um, 
you know, I, I can joke about this. I did everything in nursing. I can talk about anything. But when you but when you have surgery and you're sitting around more, your bowels are affected. So, yes, you might have to take some Senna and this and that and the other and do what you need to do. And so once again, it's like, okay, is that working well? Is that working great now? Great. Another thing to be grateful for. So literally today, it's like I've got everything I need. I've got the love of my friends, the care. Um, I've got my cats. I've got great food in my belly. Um, and so we have everything all around us. It's already here. So that is a amazing space to be in. So I'm very grateful for that. And just want to share that out to you guys. And if um, anybody out there who's had surgery wants to share what they've been through, I would love, love to hear, hear, hear more about what's going on with you too. It's amazing when you can share our stories and hopefully we help others as well um, on their journey. And uh, today I actually found out my, my sister's going to get cataract surgery. But she's once again, she's kind of excited about it too. It's like, woohoo! It's even though I'm laid up, but I'm, I'm, this is something that I wanted to help, hopefully help fix with surgery in my toe. So it's like, it's, it's, it can be exciting times too when we go in and we know things can be better and with our health and excited about things like that as well. So it's, uh, it can be exciting. And uh, that's the approach I'm taking through my experience as well. This is exciting time. Let's see how, what we can do to help ourselves heal even more. Once again, I, I love to mix the, my nursing background with my spiritual energy background where I've been able to go in and do some deep breathing and relaxation meditation and, and work through things and um, and have the positive um, outlook, which I have grown through my spiritual channelings and meditation, but also just hang out with the lovely Sue Sedana, what a most positive person in the whole wide world to have her as a dear friend. Yeah, you couldn't ask for anything better. What was our old phrase used to be, what can be better than this? Actually, you say that to the universe. Just say you, you're walking in, you fall and you stumble. You say, regardless, what, what's, what could be better than this? Because you're telling the universe you want, you only want what could be better. And so usually the universe starts bringing you more better, better things. And it's great synchronicities and all that stuff. So that's been, once again, going throughout my whole series of events the last few months and years in my life. So, uh. Once again, um, just want to get on into here and share this video. I'm going to do this once again. I got, I've only done three days of 365, so we've got a long way to go. So um, once again, if you like this video, please like it, subscribe and share. So this can get out even further to be, to reach other people. Um, and thanks again. And we'll talk soon. Bye-bye. Have a great day.